Okay, and we're recording for you. <laughs> Hello, your Zen Lifers. This is our very first, I mean second, this is our second vlog. Um, and today we just thought we'd do a basic get to know ya. Um, uh, hey, how are ya? Uh, hey, how you going? <laughs> Um, and just kind of talk about some of the things that we've learned, some of the things we've been through and just offer up some advice and because um, you guys have been completely amazing and so supportive of your Zen life and we, uh, we've been reading your emails and uh, it's just been really nice to feel your positivity and your encouragement. And, um, so here we are, we thought we'd share a little bit more about ourselves. Yes. Right, Phoebe, we're here with the dogs, this is Coda. And Luna. Hi. Um, okay, so I guess we'll just shoot, huh? Yeah. Let's put these, our little Buddha here. These questions are kind of a mix of questions okay. that, you know... Very zen. Very zen, and also, you know, from, from what people have written to us on I was Twitter. actually meaning that this is very zen, not the oh, questions. Oh, very zen. <laughs> They're both, so everything is zen. <laughs> Everything's zen. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, just, uh, you know, a bit of everything, a little bit, yeah. you know, if we feel like... There's only so much that you guys can learn about us from the side, and, and we want to kind of talk a little bit more we about to... us. We just want to talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'll start. Oh, this monkey's being very cute. Um, okay. <laughs> um, okay, I will start. Phoebe Tonkin, mm. um, what would you say is your biggest fear? I mean, if we're going like nightmare, nightmares, <laughs> no, I'm thinking no, like me. buried alive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, in terms of it. like in my life, um, I think maybe like failing is probably. At what in particular? Just like career stuff, just like. <sighs> yeah. No, I, I guess I kind of have a set thing like a set list of like goals and dreams and and I like to tick things off lists and that includes goals for my life so you know I hope to be a funny old little lady you know <laughs> somewhere in Australia eating bowls of ice cream remembering all the things vegan like ice cream. that are vegan ice cream <laughs> that I yeah right <laughs> <laughs> Zen ice cream <laughs> oh, and ticking and looking back at all the things that I achieved yeah what about you um, my biggest fear. Well, I will start with kind of what you did, there, like burning alive. Yeah. Oh my god, the idea of it is beyond terrific. Um, okay, and then my biggest fear, I think, not being a mama. I think you know that about me, though. I'm, I'm mummy Palmer. Oh yeah. I think. Look at her um, now. She's like, yeah, mama bear with the dogs, you know, getting ready. No, I think being a mom is such a huge uh, dream in my life, and uh, you know, and I, I, I believe I will absolutely be a mum at some point in my life. But I'm scared that that won't be able to happen. But these days, you can adopt and the surrogacy and all those sorts of things. So I, I feel like that's an achievable goal and it's um, one of my biggest dreams, I would say. And um, I think getting to 80 years old and if I looked back at my life and I wasn't proud of the choices I made and, um, and if I was feeling empty and alone, I think that's, yeah. that is a, a fear of mine for sure. You got three. I, I got three, yeah. <laughs> There's a bunch more. I can just list them out. Um, okay. So we have both. It's funny. Um, you know, the other day on Twitter I wrote. Do you remember that thing that I wrote? Um, yes. I wrote about the idea that we shouldn't be so hard on ourselves. I know how much we judge ourselves. And I do it too. I'm like, oh, God, you don't fit into these size pants anymore and you don't you didn't look good in this area and you you know why did you make that decision and why did you choose to do that project I think the grass is always greener we're always striving yeah. for more like better bigger it's uh, like cooler you're constantly looking at a, a window through something else and not like taking a moment to look at what you have got what you have and and I 
I think about this all the time and I think life is far too short to spend that much energy and time focused on such fickle things. And I struggle with it all the time because I get these moments, these epiphanies where I realize, what am I doing? Why am I wasting my time focusing on this or being upset about this? And then I feel like, oh, well, I've made a shift and I'm, I'm better and I'm just going to be focused on, you know, just being a good person. And then I'll kind of relapse and those things will come up again and I'll be affected by them once more. And I think it's just being conscious of when your mind takes you to a place which is negative and is not fulfilling at all mm -hmm. and is not being of service to yourself. I think you really need to be uh, aware of those things and try and shift your thinking and realize that the most important thing is how good of a person you are, how you can radiate love and warmth yeah. and be of service to other people too and uh, affect positive change. And it, trying to, when I keep that at the forefront of my mind, I fill up and I feel so good. Yeah. And that's something that I've been really thinking about so much lately. And Phoebe and I, you know, uh, definitely feel very blessed. I mean, don't we? Of course. In terms of, like, our dreams and reaching our dreams. And we feel very blessed. But I think we have also worked really hard. And that idea of you create your reality. Yeah. Like, I don't know about you, but I put so much into the dream. When I was a little girl, I just thought one day I want to I wanna act. One day this is something that I want to do with my life. And I thought about it. I worked on it. I manifested and it. And I, yeah, and I manifested it. And I, I know lots of people on Twitter have been kind of asking us about that. And I just believe it's... It's so within your reach. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Would you say that you, like, what kind of lessons have you learned through kind of, like, what you were just saying, like, in terms of trying to appease other people, appeasing yourself? Yeah. What, what do you think is the biggest thing that you've learned through all of this? Or, like, how, what advice you would give to someone who is kind of struggling with that? Well... I just think everybody is going through the same thing and you are absolutely not alone. Yeah. I mean, some people can look at us and think, oh, those girls, they're actresses, they're in Hollywood and, you know, what a charmed life. And it's all relative. We are all the same. We all go through our peaks and our valleys and struggle with the same things everybody else does. And just connecting to the idea that the most important thing is to be happy. And I truly have come to realize that I cannot find happiness from an external source. I can only go within and find it within me. And whenever I come back to that, I return back to that thought, I feel so fulfilled. Yeah. And... It's hard because life will throw curveballs at you. It will. I mean, everyone I know has been faced with some level of intense adversity at some point in their life. And it's just understanding that there really is growth in darkness. There really is. And both of us have been through some really dark times. And now, in retrospect, I am so so thankful because you learn a lesson you learn lessons through everything that you experience yeah and it's such a gift it's a beautiful gift and even though i know that it feels so hard at the time it is all a part of life and about the lessons that you are learning and that you will continue to learn and um wow that got pretty deep um but i yeah um and i think it's also, not being too hard on yourself when you do fall into a, a darkness and it does feel overwhelming and it is scary and you do feel lost. It, that's okay. Like, don't so judge good. that. When, when I am kind of upset about something, instead of you being like, you go embrace this for a second and like mm -hmm. let it out and, you know, just kind of sort it, sort it through it. But you don't need to 
bottle it up inside. It's yeah. better to kind of release that and be open with the feelings that you're dealing with. Exactly. And and I, do you know what I, when you were saying that, I just was thinking about, like, when you go to the gym, right, and you, you exercise and you're lifting weights and the little um, muscle fibers, they tear. But then when they come back together, they grow bigger and stronger. And that's... Yeah. Wow. But I was thinking about that. And that's so true. Yeah. When life has, like, stabbed me or affected me or bruised me in any way, I grow back stronger. Yeah. I really do. And, and there's also strength. And I think another thing, like, maybe that if anyone's watching to, to take out of this is, like, it's okay to ask for help. I think gone are the yes. days where you can't ask or, or share what you're going through. And I think that's why friendships are so important. Yeah. Why like mentors or being close with your family is important. I mean, I know Teresa's on speed dial. Like if I'm going through <laughs> something and, and Teresa's also very instinctive that she almost knows and she'll call me before I even have a <laughs> chance to call. I'm like, how do you know? But like, it's it's not well, it's not a sign of weakness to, to share ask or ask for help or even just ask to ha- have someone as a soundboard. Mm-hmm. You know, it's whether they have advice or, or anything or not, which you always do have. But it's sometimes just good to kind of have someone share that with you yeah. a little bit. It takes it off your shoulders. I yeah, think. and also, how good does it feel? Yeah. When you have something that you want to share with me and you're facing adversity, for me to sit down and talk to you, yeah. and I'm also, it's healing for me too. Yeah. And to be um, of service in that way to your friends is such a beautiful thing yeah. and it fills me up. I get so happy and I love it and we both start bouncing off and all these ideas come yeah. and we're growing and we have these breakthroughs and then, oh, wow, okay, well, that yeah. wasn't such a hard problem after all. Yeah. And you know what? We are so thankful for each other. Yeah. And the fact that we went through it in the first place. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's really cool. Um, okay, so what else? Oh, got my little iPhone down here. Cheating. Um, all right, so if you, Phoebe, could... Um, if you said to yourself, I really need to fix this or I really need to work on this part of my personality or in this aspect of my life what is it that you want to work on and also should we just keep this going as like a long <laughs> video or should we cut maybe we should cut and then we'll do a new one we're gonna cut <laughs> and we're gonna do a new one okay so this is part one <laughs> bye